Hey guys, this is Game Pop here with John with Democracy 3. Now where we left off, we were just actually trying to figure out this game, and I think we have kind of have. So hopefully it's enough to play this and get re-elected, and maybe even do a monocracy here. Uh, see, our GDP get, went up, so that's good, but our employment went up. Our health went down a little bit. Our poverty seemed like it went down. I think our education went down as well. <sighs> Great. So we got to figure out different things now. Whoa, what's this? Why are we right here? Our neurotics. We're having a problem with neurotics? Oh, what is this? Drug something? Drug abstinence? Is that what I was saying? Um, I think this is not going very well for us. Um, nothing's really dropping, it seems like. We're getting more and poorer in the socialist, which we don't really want. We want war here. And so, foreign aid seems to be coming, kicking in, which does not sound really great. If you think about it, that's not the greatest thing to see be kicking in on us. Um, let's look around and see. We need to drop unemployment. More money, the better. So let's figure out how to get there and figure out money spinning. Um, we can just. <laughs> I wish, because look how bad that would hurt. That would gain us more less on the unemployment, but then it will just start killing our patriot, and then it would hurt our state employee members and our state employees, and then our state income, employee income, and our liberal. Our liberal will get better, and our unemployment will get better. But we don't want to do military spending. We want to keep it over to overwhelming, though. That's actually... Cancel for a second. Thank you. I don't want to spend on that. That's good stuff to have, though, is military spending. Um, let's look at... Um, science space program... State health, state schools, technology grants, unemployed benefit, um, private prisons, technology. Let's look at the private prisons. Oh, we already fixed that. Uh, it's kind of hard to remember what we kind of fixed. Private health care. That's good to have, but it's hurting on our employment. Private schools. Uh, there will be contract stuff like that. Um, we can kind of look into our state schools and we'll see that poverty and unemployment is hurting. But if I did that, it would kind of only help with our education. It would drop our education and, and drop our poor uh, vote. But if I did this. Student laptops, modern textbooks, shared textbooks, wooden schoolhouses. Um, we need to move up to modern textbooks. It's going to hurt our property. It's going to hurt more un unemployment. But it's going to help our education and our everything else. So that will actually help us. And I don't know how much. I got three left. And our unemployment is going to get... Oof. Um, gated communities, intelligence services, police force, prison tag, prisoner tagging, um, education. How's our education hurting that? Skill shortage. Immigration. Uh, how about foreign relations? Ghettos, um, immigration, uh, looking to citizenship test again. Now, let's go back and kind of find. Um, I think this is all the stuff that's not. Yeah, all if this is actually good to see red. I think. Because if you look at it, this is all the stuff that's causing it. So we need to definitely fix the drug uh, stuff. I look at neurotics, and it's outlawed. 
which I feel like is actually causing it. Um, our liberals not really liking our drug addiction is hurting. Um, legalize all drugs. Uh, <laughs> that would make our liberals happy. It makes our parents mad. Our crime, I think that means it will go up. Our conservatives will like it. Our legal drug consumption would like it. And our drug addiction will like it. Oh, man. That will le legalize LSD, which is a bad idea. A very bad idea. And that will actually... Honestly... If you ask me, this will hurt our parents and our conservatives... But it'll help our liberal and our it'll make a, a crime do something. Um, did I say cannibalism? Bill? No. Con kind of is. I think we're gonna do it. Should drugs should such as cannabis and heroin be legalized? Supporters suggest that is. It is the crime associated with the buying black market drugs that cause problems and legalizing the rights would be reduce crime opponents point to health risks and say it would be giving it would be giving into criminals honestly it won't I would think I think it would actually even bring us more money I said we legalize this and just go with it I can't because I don't have this stuff for it um poverty let's try to fix poverty 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 food stamps Sorry guys, food stamps is gotta we can't lower to raise it because it'll hurt. State pensions can't do anything with that. Uh state schools can't really do anything with that. We'll go ahead and move on to our next turn. Um <clears throat> debt protection law. Debt collection agencies have been in the news because of the aggressive aggressive methods that are used using to extract payment from people who owe large sums of money. These debt collections agencies provide credit to people whom larger, more respectable companies will not lend money. A law is proposed to limit the ways in which such agencies can operate. Limit agency, agency activities. These agencies are preying on the weakest and poorest in our society, often tricking them into borrowing money um, that can never be repaid. This is a little more extortion, and the government should act at once to limit severity of the Allowing she's to operate. Nobody forces people to borrow money they can't repay. Money they can't repay. And to restrict the rights of debt agencies to recover limit legitimate debts would be counterproductive. People need to learn to live within their means and not expect the state to bail them out of trouble if they cannot learn to do so. Yeah, that's a bad idea. I just, I just took me a minute to realize what's going on. No. I'm not going to pay people's debts. You insane? Move on to the next turn, please. Gosh. <laughs> um, GDP went back down. Crime. I think crime went down. Sweet. Unemployment went down. Poverty went down. Education kind of went down. It looks like health is... Okay, we got to focus on health now. Tobacco usage. Tobacco tax. And despite the failure of tobacco, there is... Oh, yeah. If you guys want your tobacco... If you say it's going to increase if I did that? No, okay, it's not. It's going to increase poverty. That's why you don't buy it, you losers. Okay, what do we got first? What's our... We got how much? Well, we're looking into health. And we have 21. And... I don't think that's going to help us because if you look into tobacco usage, tobacco tax, I need 27 to raise it. Oh, and I see it right there. Okay. Well, we'll deal with that later. We'll go ahead and actually save for that because we need tobacco tax up. I mean, that's good stuff to stop. Child labor law. Too many of our younger citizens are leaving school early in order to take up low-paying jobs. Some are even skipping school to work full-time when they should be learning the Law is currently very weak within the records regards preventing companies from employing under 16s and full-time positions. The propo this proposed law would make it to make it a criminal offense to knowingly employ someone under the age under 16 for more than five hours a week. 
Yes, criminalized child labor. They're stupid if they didn't. <clears throat> Mr. Former Minister, one of your cabinet members needs to talk to you earnestly. Um, currently working on welfare ministers, tired of serving in your government aid, may wish to leave their position and po po um, possibly politics altogether. You may be uh, able to persuade them to stay by taking steps. Well, I don't care. Superhero? News um, buzzing and caped. Already a number of high. Um, starting to heroes. Our crime is dropping, our education is going up. Uh, the polls do not look good. Our last poll puts us at 32% of the vote in, on, in an election. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to help people here. Uh, let's fix this tobacco thing first. Because that is just insane. Um, our tobacco use will definitely drop. Our quality will definitely get better. Our poverty will hurt. And our, everyone will hurt on our vote. You think that we should leave it or something? I don't think so. Tell you what, I'll raise it to thirty percent. Um, it's going to negative effect implement time effectiveness income. do it figure out way more drop crime superhero okay, internet crime that's kind of stopping it crime in general um antisocial behavior why is that having a problem? Let's go back to crime. And let's look into um, well, consumption, alcohol law. <clears throat> Minimum age is 21. If I raise it, it's going to hurt everyone. If I lower it, it's going to actually bring into violent crime. Low what? It's something. I can't do anything with it honestly either, so let's revert it back to normal. Go ahead and continue. Looks like that's having a problem. Subsides, biofoods can reduce, farmers who can oil demand is high and that'll make it even higher. But it'll make everything else happier. Can't really do anything with it. But if we want to do that can't really do anything with it. I'm not wasn't even planning to, so our liberal we're getting liberal trade patriots per conservatives and socialists. So we're actually grading pretty much all the people, even the people on the other side that's actually trying not to vote for us. <coughs> Vigilante mobs say what? You gotta be kidding me, right? Okay, let's look at this police force and I think we're gonna have to rise it to um actually help us honestly it's going to prevent crime violent crime it's going to help with that and that and that bring that it's going to hurt that more no it's going to lower that say employees are going to be earning less now though employment's going to be less and uh, anti-social behavior is going to blow out the river Um, do it. Kind of need it. Hurts, but I need it. Let's move on. There's so many decisions to make in this game. A new situation has developed. Brain drain. Our GDP is lowering and education is lowering. Crap. It wasn't what was supposed to happen. There is an urgent policy question that requires your immediate attention. There are a number of suspected links between smoking and poor health. Pressure c groups have called for a ban on all smoking in public as an encouragement to smokers to give up. Ban public smoking. Yes, please. Um, and let's look into this stuff again. What's this thing? 
Uh, our tax system is encouraging the best and brightest entrepreneurs to leave the country altogether and make money elsewhere. So what we are losing on both. Okay, well, let's fix this problem. Let's change it to where they come here. Well, so let's try to raise our GDP. <coughs> the way to really do that, we need to um, we need to allow immigration. Honestly, I think our border controls need to drop. Biometric checks, passport checks, random passport checks. It's going to hit our patriotism, but it's going to help everything else. It's going to hurt our tourism and our ethnic more minor. It's going to help with tourism and stuff. Um, let's do it. Just passport checks, please. Hopefully, that's going to help something. And let's move on. This one is now at an end. Our GDP is still hurting. I can see that. <clears throat> so we're almost to over 50%. That's good. So we're at 48, and we need to keep going. Human clothing. Nearly 20% of children are already conceived with the help of virtual fertilization. Clothing them is, uh, instead is scientifically possible. Despite entertaining, uh, despite entering legal limbo, a number of wealthy couples and individuals have gone ahead and made clothing re reality. Cloning reality. Religious leaders are strongly opposing this new trend, labeling it a satanic practice. Human cloning is a logical next step in human development. We cannot stand in the way of the future. Cloning is not a natural method of procreation. This practice goes against all religious teachings and moral society should not allow to take this place. Thank you. That was definitely the one I was looking for. Um... <coughs> this is taking it in, which is good. I can't get my GDP to rise. Um, product, this is the total market value of all the goods and services produced in the year. Um, we need a... How am I supposed to fix this? Um, let's go ahead and drop this again. Honestly, let's drop this to... Let's drop this and raise income taxes. I can't believe I'm saying that. Find the brain drain that we've gotten and go to income tax and can't really raise it. If they pay um hmm if everyone pays fifty percent of their own, we could do that thirty we need thirty move on we need thirty for income taxes guys. Unemployment has raised, which is not good. Find the brain drain. Go to income tax. It's probably raise money of the government. Direct taxes on people's earnings. Which sucks, but it has to happen. We don't have enough. I need to raise taxes, though. Control tax. Pollution controls. That's hurting it. How about that? Expensive monitoring. Our GDP will drop drastically. We needed the rise. The environment, environmentalist, capitalist. Supply changes on this. Doctors have warned that our business are working people too hard, which is leading to dangerous high levels of stress for people with, with full time jobs. There are calls for limits on our work to stuff. Credit rating downgraded. Which is not good. Don't stick me in politics. <laughs> um, state pensions. If I did that, what it would do? It would take out this. 
and erase capitalism, drop poverty, it would hurt these people more. Sorry, guys. I need 26 to do that, and I'll do state pensions next. Hopefully, that'll help a little bit. Our latest security reports indicate a growing threat uh, organized as the Black Power Group. It looks like a number of people are angry about the way of government of policy is affecting. The only way to change things, you might want to be careful about further angering ethnic minorities if you don't want to suffer an attack on your person. Thank you. Um, let's go deal with um, this for now. I said I didn't want that. Why is private pensions real quick? Can't do this. Do something else. This is the size of private pension sector. This may run alongside a minimal state pension or completely replace it in countries that are happy to leave retirement planning on to individuals. Many poor men members of society will now will not have the means to save adequately for their retirement without state help. Well, because that's why I want to get rid of it, which we will. Here in a few, okay. One of the famous citizens, H66, is suffering from a terminal disease and living in a constant severe pain. Although modern medical te 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 uh, techniques can h keep him alive for many more years, he has expressed a repeated desire to be uh, allowed to take his own life. It was incredible cruel to keep people living in permanent pain when there is no hope of recovery. Changing the law is the wrong decision. This will make a this will be a th the thin end of the wedge. Once the principle of helping people to die is in the in law, the pressure will be on anyone with a terminal condition, especially where medical care is expensive. Don't change the law. Pain or in a coma for many years. As modern medical advances, this is going to be more common as we. Um, pain. No, you can't kill yourself. That's a stupid idea. Credit rating downgraded again. The other assassination attempt. Oh, I almost got killed. Whew. Hey, at least our things are up. Um, like I said, I want to drop this. But I don't have the political power to right now. It'd be nice to if you guys will let me. That's what I really want to do, and then mm. okay, we got to figure out something else. Then our GDP is mm, right now. Um, let's start with corporation tax and figure out how to raise our GDP. That's not going to help us. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and deal with that. I'm trying to get our GDP fixed. Pollution controls already have that fixed. It's going to kill us. But I'm trying to get our GDP up. Um, let's do that and move on ah, man it's rough today at approximately 5 a.m. a group of armed extremists accusing the government of widespread bursts you're an executed yourself and the rest of the cabinet in cold blood the group claimed to be the black powder power group and said your government conduct towards ethnic minorities had left them with no choice. What a tr tragic end to your political career. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was interesting. Mm. So how about that, guys? That's Democracy 3 for you. It's actually really hard. So if you guys uh, if you watched this whole video, uh, comment down below, hashtag dead, and I'll know you watched the whole video. <laughs> if you guys like the series, make sure to comment down below, like, slap that like button, comment down below, and subscribe. This is Game Pop. Over and
out. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the videos currently on the screen and as well down below in the description there is a link to fan base names if you guys want to check that out. It's only a minute long. Thanks for watching.